the Lenzar system has been designed to meet the ergonomic needs of a treatment room or the operating room. The eye is fixated using a suction ring. The suction ring can be inserted with or without a lid speculum and with or without the patient being prepped and draped. The surgeon operates the vacuum via a foot switch. To speed the docking process, system software initially deploys the laser head to a preset position close to the patient. The surgeon then takes control and uses the joystick to center the system over the suction ring, visible in the surgeon's monitor as well as on the side monitors. BSS is added to the interface and the joystick is used to seat the ring arm into the suction ring. The laser head is server controlled to limit the force applied to the eye. After docking, the laser head is lowered until the image of the cornea is touching the yellow reference line visible on the surgeon's monitor. After docking, the scanning using proprietary 3D CSI system can begin. It includes a pupil detection algorithm. A rotating camera takes multiple scans of the eye using proprietary software that images the eye from limbus to limbus and from anterior cornea to posterior lens in a single video frame without photo stitching. It produces images of high contrast and high signal to noise ratio. The images can be analyzed automatically to detect the key surfaces. Ray tracing is then used to produce a three-dimensional reconstruction of the eye, which will form the basis of the treatment patterns. Alongside the 3D image, the biometric data is shown for cornea, anterior chamber and lens. Additional information is provided on the degree of lens tilt. The surgical incisions previously programmed for individual surgeons are shown and any required limbal relaxing incisions can be added as required. The CCI and paracentesis incisions can be moved to different locations and place at any distance out to the limit of the measured cornea. This can be achieved via the touchscreen panels on the system. Finally, the chosen treatment options are shown on the 3D model for final review prior to loading the pattern and starting treatment. As you watch the progression of the treatment, you can follow the capsulotomy being cut first, followed by phacofragmentation. fragmentation. The progress of the photo disruption can be seen from the formation of small gas bubbles. Once the interocular treatment is complete, Corley incisions are commenced. The main CCI is cut first, followed by the side port or paracentesis incision. In all cases, photo disruption starts inferiorly and moves anteriorly to avoid the gas bubbles disrupting the beam. The final incisions are the LRIs, which are not full thickness cuts. Due to the fine cuts created by the laser, all incisions are complete but not patent until opened with a blunt surgical instrument. Laboratory studies have shown that the globe remains closed and at physiological pressure until such intervention. At the end of the treatment, a single button releases suction and retracts the laser head. When the Lensar laser system is used in the OR with the patient prepped and draped, the surgical microscope can be swung into place once the laser head is parked and surgery can be started immediately.